now it's time to head to the lab and build our own Stomp Rockets. Hey guys, it's me, Zach. And Cindy. And Cindy. Today I was thinking we could do something really cool. Do you want to build a rocket? Yeah. Awesome. Now, we don't have like the things we need to build a real rocket to go into space, but do you want to make something called a stomp rocket? Yeah. So, boys and girls, today we're going to use our imagination and we're going to think about ways that we can make a rocket and get it up in the air to fly as close to space as possible. How's that sound? Cool. So here's what I was thinking, Sydney. We're gonna use some of this PVC pipe, some tools like tape and paper and markers to create a rocket. Then we're gonna use more PVC pipe and a bottle to create energy to move the energy through the pipe up into the rocket, which will then send the rocket into the air. Do you want to do it? Yeah. On three, let's say, let's do it. One, two, three. Let's, let's do, do it! it! All right, Sydney, are you ready to build your rocket? Yeah. All right, so the first thing we need is a piece of PVC pipe. I went ahead and cut this, but Sydney, I want to show you something really cool. Do you know what this tool is called? Measuring tape. It's a measuring tape. And as we pull it, it has cool numbers that tell us how long. And we're going to cut our pipe to a certain length so we can use it to help build our rocket. Let's see how long this pipe is. What number does it go to? 13. That's right. So I cut the pipe, or your adult can cut the pipe to 13 inches. Now, you're going to take a piece of paper, and Cindy, I'm going to let you pick. Do you want it to go this way or this way? Um, your choice. This way. This way. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick which way you want your paper to go. Cindy wants hers this way, and you're going to put the pipe here. And what we're going to do is you're going to roll your pipe up as tight, or your paper, roll your paper as tight as you can. You want to roll that real quick? Go ahead. So while Cindy is rolling that as tight as she can, you're going to probably need two people to do this. She's rolling, 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 and then you're going to stop. Do you have it as tight as you can? And your helper is going to use clear tape, and we're going to tape the paper shut in a tube. So it's going around the outside of the tube. I'm going to need more tape, it looks like. I didn't do the best job there, but that's all right. Try. So make sure. Watch this, Sydney. I'm gonna ask you, how do you think we can get that piece of paper off the bike now? That's right. And guess what you've just created part of? That's right. So this is gonna be the body of your rocket. So we're gonna make some other pieces here soon, but while we make the other pieces, Let's slide this back on here so you have something nice and hard to work with. Do you want to color and decorate your rocket? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Sydney, so I see you're almost done decorating your cool rockets. Are you almost ready? Yeah. All right, so you can see I went ahead and I made a cool American rocket, and I love the colors you used on yours. But do you think, Sydney, if we put our rocket like this, is this going to just shoot into space all by itself? No. What's it missing here at the top? We got to put these in a church stuff. 
That's right. Make it. We do need to attach some things. Remember at the top of the rocket how it goes to a point? That's called the nose cone. Do you want me to teach you how we make the nose cone? Yeah. All right. So to make the nose cone, it's a little difficult, but I know you guys can do it. We're going to use this shape to create a nose cone. What shape is this? Circle. We're going to put the circle tape right here, and I'm going to take a marker, and I'm just going to trace the inside, and voila, there's a circle. Now, if you want to make a bigger nose cone, you can go around the outside. So the choice is up to you, but you can make whatever size nose cone you want. Now, before you cut it out, you're gonna do one more thing, Sydney. Guess what we're gonna do? Can you put a dot in the very middle of both circles? And it doesn't have to be exactly right, just wherever you think the middle is, good. Then, you're gonna take a, this, your marker, you're gonna draw a line over and a line down from the dot. A line over and a line down, and you're gonna get something that looks like this, okay? So we're gonna cut out our circle, and then I'm gonna put an X right here. You're gonna cut that part out too. Do you wanna cut for us, Sydney? All right, I got your scissors right here. Great work, Sydney. So Sydney went ahead and cut out our circles, but we have one last step to do. Now we have to cut out our lines and cut this little piece of the pie out of the circle. So I'm gonna do this one, Sydney. I'm gonna show you first. You're gonna cut up and over, and now it's gonna look like that. Do you wanna do yours? Go ahead. Yeah. So you're gonna go all the way to the point and stop when you get there. Perfect, okay? And now here's a trick. You can just turn it that way and cut that way now. And it fell right out. That's perfect, Sydney. Well done. All right, Sydney. We're almost there. We have our rocket, and now we have a nose cone uh, set up here. Here's how we're actually gonna put our nose cone on. Are you ready? You're gonna take these two pieces and kind of bend them in towards each other, and then you're gonna line them up, and watch what happens, guys. It goes from flat to a cone shape. And then you're gonna have your helper, so I'll help you in a second. We're gonna use the tape and tape this together to hold. that in place. I might get a second piece of tape. Okay, pretty good. Look at that. Nice. Good work. All right, Cindy. So now that we have our, <coughs> bless you, our rocket systems in place, it's going to go on the launch pad like so. So right now it's gonna shoot up. The only thing we need are these, these are called tail fins, or like, they're not wings, but they're things that help guide it into the sky. Do you wanna build some tail fins? Great work, Sydney. I see that you've got this here, and you've got your tail fins ready. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reinsert our pipe to give us something hard to work on. And now we're gonna take our fins, you just fold a little, we just need a little bit of a fold. That will give you a flat side to work with and we're going to tape them on like so. So Sydney, will you hold this real quick? And I'm gonna grab our tape and I recommend that we put oh, tape. Put mine here. Yep, we're gonna put tape on both sides. So you'll put it on the flat side here first to hold it down, but you'll see, mm, oh no, it might still bend and flex this way. So we're gonna actually take another piece of tape, put it on this side now, halfway, and voila. So Sydney, you can see now we have, but you wanted three, right? So, 
let's get three on there and see what we can do, okay? So we're gonna re-put it here. Next one here, try to make them equal distance. But if we put a lot on them, like three will go high. It might. And Sydney, I am so glad you said that because we have things in science called variables. Can you say variables? And a variable is something that changes. So, so you see, you didn't even know it, but I've been doing variables this whole time. You're gonna have three fins and you have this rocket. But I decided to make my rocket taller than yours. That's something that I changed. Will that make mine fly higher or lower? I'm also gonna put four fins on mine. So we're gonna see which one is the best, okay? Let's do it. So let's finish this here. Here's our next fin. Actually, I just want two fins. You want just two fins? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, so I'll put it on this side then. So you're going to do more of an airplane look. That is pretty cool. And how about I do three fins then? How's that sound? Cool. All right, so we're almost ready for launch. So I'm just going to go here, we're going to attach this. So now Sydney, do you want to do something really crazy? Mm -hmm. Let's give it our first test launch. You're going to take this pipe like this and you're going to blow. But don't, hold on, don't put your hands on there, blow. As hard as you can. Sydney, wow, look at these. We have three rockets that are almost ready to go into their first space flight. Now, so the last thing we've got to do is make the launch pad, right? So what I've done is I put this tape on here on our two liter bottle to give it extra strength because believe it or not, we're going to be stomping on this. And what we're going to do is we're going to take all the energy. Can you say energy? Inside this bottle, there's a lot of air and energy. And when we stomp on it, we're gonna shoot the energy out of here, into a pipe, into another pipe, and into the rocket we will take it up into space. So the first thing we have to do, Sydney, will you help me real quick? I just need you to hold this pipe, and we're gonna slide this. This is half inch PVC. Do you see how it goes perfect? And now I'm gonna take our blue tape, and I'm just gonna make this as airtight as possible. Go like this. And if you want, you can keep it for the whole entire year. That's true. Yeah, you should be able to use this a whole bunch. So this tape is serving two purposes. It helps hold the pipe in, but the pipe is pretty tight anyway. And the other purpose is, like I said, we need it to be as airtight as possible. We don't want any of that energy. Can you say energy? To get out. We want as much energy, can you say energy? To get to the rocket to get as high as possible. So let me finish this out here. Yes, it And you can squeeze it, and now I'm gonna tape it one more time just for good measure. All right, Sydney, great work. So we're gonna use that piece that you have, that's called an elbow. And you can see the energy is gonna come from the bottle through the pipe, but can you put that elbow on now? It should be pretty snug, good. And even though it's snug, like I, I can't really pull that off right now, I am gonna put a little tape. Like I said, we wanna keep that energy. So now we have it like so. And now we're gonna take our next pipe and we're gonna put it here into here and that will be our rocket launcher are you ready to do that yeah let's go outside and test those rockets so we got our setup here guys um we're ready to do the la rocket launch you're gonna when i say go you're gonna jump as high as you can stomp on that bottle the air is gonna push through the system into the launch pad now i did use these bean bags to hold it down that way it's as stable as possible but when you transfer that energy from there to here we're going to see how high your rocket goes are you ready let me scoot out of the way whenever you're ready Cindy, jump on the bottom <laughs> that 
That was amazing, Sydney. Now I see we've got all the energy out of the bottle. Here's how we put it back in. You're just gonna blow. And we're gonna try again. Do you wanna shoot your other rocket? Yeah. Let's do it. Where's my other one? It's over there, it flew far away. Sydney, I think you went a good probably 35, maybe 40 feet. Let's do another one. Three, two, one. All right, Timmy, I'm gonna give mine a go here. I have three fins, a little taller rocket, and I'm gonna give it a jump. Will you do the countdown for me, Sid? 